So we're going to plant up a mandala bed this morning. We're going to be putting it in a companion grouping, uh, which is a beneficial way of assisting either by creating shade, as we are on a harsh uh, Addo sun. So on our western edge of the bed, we're going to be putting in our taller species, which would be our cauliflowers, broccolis and cabbages, which will then provide shade and a shade belt for our sensitive species, which would be the lettuce varieties. So this is done on a fortnightly basis. The chicken spent two weeks in a location, then the dome is moved to the next circle in a clockwise fashion. We work and prep the soil. And the nicest thing about it, because we're planting every two weeks, we never run out of food. So what I'm gonna do now is to lay out the, the various plants that we have here in their locations or where I would uh, choose to have them in the bed. Once they're all in their spots, then we're gonna be dipping them in the airtime and then putting them into their new home. And off we go. So we're gonna start off with our cabbages. We've got a purple cabbage here. Uh, this is actually mainly, I don't like to eat cabbage, you should only ever plant stuff you eat. This is to feed the chickens, they thoroughly enjoy it. It's also a snail trap to me, so when all the snails go into the cabbage, the whole head gets chopped off straight to the chickens. That's their sort of benefit for working so hard for us. So we're going to place it out. General rule of thumb, if you're an orangutan like me, is spacing for plants is generally from your thumb to that. A cabbage gets larger, especially because we're an addo, so I'm going to give it a little bit more space, so probably double that. I'm starting with the larger species first, my brassica family. So we've got the cabbages over here. We're now moving on to the cauliflowers and broccolis. So this is now in a couple of weeks time. It's going to create a shade belt for our sensitive species. And that is the lettuce. So all the way around the edge and the spinach we are going to dot around the edge. Also excellent chop and drop to feed to the chickens. They love it. We've got some rockets, which is a scented plant. We're going to use it as a bit of a distraction for the, uh, the pests. And uh, we're going to stick it on the edge of the bed. So it's a bit like a bodyguard. The pests are going to come in, have a snack of the rocket. It's got a very pe peppery taste. They're probably not going to enjoy that. They're hopefully going to disappear with the locust somewhere else soon. Also, the rocket is uh, harvested on a regular basis. So it's cut and come again. Okay, now we're going to put in our cash crop, which is our lettuce. And we're going to start putting it into the center around the bed. Because planting's artwork, we're going to mix up the reds and the greens to create that beautiful effect. You notice I'm in the keyhole now. The worst thing you can do to the soil is stand on it. Never ever stand on your soil. You compact it, not to say we're all fat or big boned. It's just the sheer weight on such a small location on our feet compacts the soil, prevents water getting in and pushes the air out. So design it so you can always access your bed from all angles without standing on it. So by putting in some of the lettuces in between the cauliflowers and broccolis, uh, yes, what will probably happen is they will get shaded out, but we'll still get three cuts off it. So I would rather optimize and put as much of the plants in um, time stacked uh, harvesting. So we'll harvest all the lettuce out. By that time, the brassicas would have filled up the gap. So there's never going to be an open space allowing for your endemic weeds to actually take over. So lettuce and beetroot, what I've observed are very good companion friends. I think it works in the root zone that the beetroot, as it goes down and mines and expands, it seems to be fluffing and prepping the soil for the lettuce. I've noticed the ones the lettuce that grows with the beetroot is always of a higher quality. So the beetroot will be the final layer that will come and dot in between everything here. And this looks like chaos. But again, Mother Nature's never straight lines. It is always organized confusion.